Welcome everyone, Jeff with FS Gaming. Got a little video for you today, I'm going to be taking the Kenworth W900 Icon for a spin. This is a private truck. Uh, we're going to be running with Precision Carriers today. I have my custom skin by David Hester, number 42. So let's, uh, let's jump inside and see what we're going to be carrying today. Alright guys, here we are inside the uh, Icon W900. You can actually see the uh, badge there on the glove box. Pretty cool feature. And yes, I do have the camera zoom because I am running uh, 1.4 right now. We're going to be picking up some wood here at the uh, bitumen yard, however you say that foolish name. changes here. My force feedback. It's taken a, a bit of a dump on me, so I gotta fix that. So I'll let you uh, check out the truck from the outside here. Real quick and then we'll change the uh, settings. Uh, so this is the Piva weather mod. Uh, it does work in 1.4. As far as I can tell, no issues as of yet. Uh, let me just turn this off. Because that's just not cooperating very well. Alright, so let's see where we're running here. Um, we got 11,000 pounds of wood. Heading to Santa Cruz. I suppose I should get my GPS out. There we go. just angry at me the whole time.
light load. I got um, C15 with uh, 550 horsepower. As you can see, I'm already up to 55. So it should be a pretty quick, quick run here. steering wheel wasn't fighting me, but I've already started, so away we go. So this is the first video um, that I've done in a little while with uh, audio. Well, me speaking anyway. So this truck was uh, kind of a joint effort between the uh, guys on AMT. Um, trying to put all the little all the little parts you can get uh, for the icon uh, and the associated glider kit as well, so you can get an older engine instead of. Def and all the emissions garbage. Um, so you can get these nice sounds out of them. That's the whole point, right? Yeah, so, you know, a lot of custom pipes and um, LEDs and things of that nature. Really polishes the, the truck off, makes it look super special, so. kind of a gift to ourselves, if you will. Um, so I really like uh, really like showing it off when I can. I'm sure you'll see plenty more pictures of it in the near future. Uh, so things I wanted to talk about. Um, I don't know, AMT released the Phantom about what a month ago now maybe? Something of that something of that nature. Uh, seemed to be received fairly well. Uh, was a lot of a lot of work went into that truck, many months of painstaking Painstaking materials and uh, textures and sounds and making everything just work right and you know complementing each other. So I'm pretty proud of us as a team for for getting that getting that going and uh, you know really appreciate all the uh, support and, and uh, comments about it. Uh, you know I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. It's a very custom truck, it's not a, you know, not somewhere you bring on to the construction site where you think people are throwing stuff around, so I get that, um, but it's a hell of a lot of fun and it takes amazing pictures, which is also another, uh, another great part of it. Uh, the trailer also as well, um, you know, the combo is just, it's second to none, so I'm really proud of the guys for that. And uh, I hope you are enjoying it. Uh, and please get our official one. Do not go to any of the uh, 
um, if it's not our share mods link or the Steam Workshop, then you're not getting it from the right place and you're not supporting the right people. So just remember that when you download a share mods link, it'll say AMT will be listed as the user. So please, please, please look for that when you're downloading. Um, so what else are we looking forward to? Well, Arizona is also out. Uh, love by Arizona. The road system is excellent. Uh, really happy with that so far. I'm excited about the map rescale as well. Um, I know that's not coming immediately, but also there's the um, features of 1.4, which like the zoom, so you can kind of see like maybe that sign up ahead before you get there as opposed to being on top of it, and, you know, hadn't seen it beforehand. You have better vision in real life than you do in this game, so it's nice to be able to kind of zoom in now and see what you're really looking at. Like, if you do this, you know, you're trying to back up, trying to blind back into a spot, you can kind of really zoom in on that mirror, you know, so it's, it's a nice feature. It's a nice feature. I like it. The other thing, it's going to become a lot easier to put uh, lights on your cab of your truck. So look for a lot of um, look for a lot of light mods coming up soon. Um, by way of um, um, because now it's just a now it's just nodes on top of the truck. It's not uh, or slots rather. It's not. It's just a node with slots, so similar to Paul, excuse me, Viper 2's 389, how it has the backside lights, like in between the cab and the trailer. Um, it's similar to that, so you, you place your um, DOT clearance lights on top of the cab in that fashion. It's not something where you, um, where it's just a set number of lights. You can put, I think there's nine slots in total, so you can, you know, mix and match however you want on top of the cab there. So it makes it super nice. Um, the three models of lights that they have so far, um, uh, pretty good quality. The, there's a bullet light style, and then there's the sleeper lights, like the more squarish ones. sounds a hell of a lot better than the stock W900. Sorry, SES. Um, so, you know, that's one of those parts that I love. Um, yeah, so then you get your light slots there. You also, you're going to have um, steering wheels as an accessory, so you'll just be able to replace your steering wheel. Um, so look for a lot of that, a lot of, um, you know, modders coming out with different wheels and then they're just accessories so you just take that wheel and you can just mod it right in to one of the SES trucks and as soon as the, the other mod trucks uh, you know get those animations sorted out then you'll be able to do it on them too uh, so it should be should be pretty cool but look for them coming out on the, uh, the stock trucks start off with because it's just going to be easier to pull, you know, like say this wheel, this is the smart wheel from the icon, you can just you know, pull this model right off and then add it right back uh, into the regular, the regular truck if you want, the regular W900. Um, it'll be fairly easy to do that if you have even a small amount small amount of modding experience, um, you can do that. Just follow a couple of my videos, 
and you'll be able to, to do that yourself. Um, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I get the tilting wheel thing and all that. Like I can, I can appreciate that that's you know something that you would do in real life, but as it is, I already have a steering wheel in front of me. I don't want, I don't need another one to go up and down. I mean, I understand that's so you can see things better, but it'd um, be nice if you could just remove the wheel, to be honest. But I suppose you could make a blank, um, a blank accessory when this new thing comes out and you can just have no wheel and you can see all your gauges without any issue. I digress. Um, Jaking. Because we have such a light load here, I'm not, I don't have to use the uh, lowest gears, which is kind of nice. And with the new clutch system from 1.3, um, it's easier to take off, for sure. And uh, so I'm, I'm happy with, uh, I'm happy with where the transmission and stuff is. So help if I hit my shifts correctly. So I have a couple of trucks on my plate. Um, you know we have the Western Star 4900 EX. That's still a work in progress. Um, I have the Kenworth C500, which needs to need some serious love. Uh, started doing a low max, but um, AMV Tomas has done a low max with a stratosphere already attached for however many dollars, 29 American dollars or something, whatever it is. Um, so being that the model that I'm working on is kind of inferior, the sleeper is kind of jaggedy because it's a Holland model. Um, may just defer that and work on the uh, C500 also working on um, a Marmon. I don't know what I'm going to do with the interior yet because that is that interior looks nothing like any other truck that's out right now. And it's old too so that doesn't help, but um, at any rate, that's that's where we're at with trucks. I got a bunch on the plate, of course, because that's how I roll. I can't concentrate on one stupid thing. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's where we're at right now uh, with trucks and stuff. Uh, still enjoying playing the game. Obviously, um, working on creating a new desk situation for myself, as the my current desk. Well, let's start over. My chair fell apart, um, so I had to get a new chair, um, and I ended up just getting a stationary chair. Ikea. Uh, it's a... I forget what it's called. But it is stationary 
and it's a little reclined, so it's excellent for driving position, uh, which I do like. And so I've had to like do super extra modifications to my desk to be able to, because it's shorter than an office chair, because an office chair you can go up and down with. So yeah, I, you know, a lot of things, a lot of things happening. Um, trying to um, just maintain that presence out there in the virtual social world. Um, take some nice shots of trucks that I'm using and so on and so forth. Um, keep you guys up to date with with what I'm running with and you know keep the excitement level up. I know it's uh, sometimes it's a few days in between when I post stuff um, and I appreciate you all sticking around and uh, liking it going on YouTube and uh, checking out my videos just uh, just went by 700, 700 subscribers so thank you for that this wasn't really meant to be a subscriber thank you video I was going to do that a separate one but um, you know 16 months 700 subs uh, realistically I am doing it myself with help you know obviously I've found help in the fact that um, people want to see what I do with trucks so I found the right group for that um, I have a few people that enjoy my racing videos as well um, trains has been on the back burner just because uh, that game is super taxing on my system right now for some reason or another I can't figure it out um, but yeah so I don't have any sponsors. I don't have any ads. Um, you know, there's gonna be, there's gonna come a day where I'm gonna have ads, you know, uh, and I'm going to try to make them as minimally invasive as possible. But uh, right now, I don't have ads. I don't have a sponsor. I don't have a team of people that help me do this stuff. It is just me. Um, so. It's, it's hard to keep up with sometimes, and uh, I just want to let you know that I do appreciate you know, all of your liking and, and subscribing and supporting me. Uh, it's super helpful, and it makes me, you know, come back to the, the computer and, and do more. You know, that's, uh, that's the important part. And feel free to let me know what you what you do like and what you don't like. I mean, I'm gonna do the racing videos and stuff like that anyway. So rest assured, if you don't like that, I'm sorry, but it's gonna be coming to you because that's that was initially why I started this channel. kind of turned into everything else, so. So more of these type of videos are going to be coming. Um, and like I said, it's, it's just a really busy time right now. Um, fall is going to be a little bit less busy, but... going to be busy again, so I'm doing everything I can to uh, to keep up with the channel, and uh, like I said before, just, you know, your support is, is super important to me, and I really appreciate that. Um, you know, 700 is, is big for me, that's you know, a lot more people watching my videos than I imagine. I'm not saying that I get 700 views on everything, but um, you know, some of my videos now have like 30,000 views or something like that, which is just mental. Um, but yeah, so 
If you like this type of stuff, you like me talking about stupid garbage things, like I just ramble on and whatever, but give me a like, let me know. Tell me what you think. Um, if you want to just see quick trips like I did with the, uh, the curtain side trailer the other day and just going point A to point B and that's it, have a good day, let me know about that too. Um, you know, it's easy for me to to drive and talk if, if talking is what needs to be done. I have to do it at work sometimes, so it's not a big deal. This is not even real life, so it's even easier. Um, but yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to finish this video off with uh, me backing in here. And I'll show you the outside of the truck. Thanks for watching. We will catch you next time for the next one. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.